Hello, I am Marta from Erikesins. In the next few minutes, I will introduce you to our new Black Series MIDI to CV module. It emulates a classical, monophonic and duophonic scene behavior. It has one and two MIDI channel modes, two CV and two gate outputs which are configurable with a one or two voice mode switch, and some more useful features shown off on this video. In the one voice mode, the second CV and gate outputs copies the signal of the first CV and gate outputs. In this mode, the MIDI to CV module has the highest note priority. Now we have switched to the two-voice mode in which the black MIDI to CV module starts to work as a classical duophonic synthesizer. In this mode the module has the lowest note priority for the first CV output and the highest note priority for the second CV output. The second gate output continues to duplicate the first gate output. By default, the modulation CV output is configured to the keyboard's modulation wheel. On this patch, it controls the first CV input of the black Polyvox VCF. If you want to configure the modulation CV output to the key velocity, push and hold the program button till the LED starts to blink. Then push the button one more time to get to the mod output configuration mode in which LED starts to blink faster. Then push any key on the keyboard and finally push the program button again to confirm your choice and to exit configuration mode. Now the modulation CV output is configured to the key velocity. To change a MIDI channel, push and hold the program button till the LED starts to blink. Next, push and hold one or two keys on the keyboard and then push the program button again two times to exit the configuration mode. On this patch I have switched to the two MIDI channel mode, where the first MIDI channel is controlled by the MIDI keyboard and the second one by the MIDI sequencer. In this mode the second gate output starts to work independently. The big knob on the top of the black MIDI to CV module is for setting the glide for both MIDI channels simultaneously. The maximum glide time is 2 seconds.
Another useful feature here is the MIDI clock output with 4 pulses per quarter note. It helps to synchronize all your setup. On this patch, clock output gives the CV signal to the Pico sequencer's clock input, which controls the Pico VCO. Mm -hmm. 